And who better to talk about the top five revenge games than our own NFL historian, Elliot Harrison. And number five, a classic matchup yeah. between the 49ers and the Bears in the mid-'80s. Yeah, this is one I remember from my childhood, Will. This was a big game. In 1984, the 49ers had beaten the Bears in the NFC Championship 23 to nothing. And at the end of the game, 49ers head coach Bill Walsh had put Guy McIntyre, a guard, in the backfield to block didn't really sit well with Mike Dicka. Of course, the loss never sat well with Mike Dicka. So nope. the next year when they played at Candlestick in week six and the game in hand, he put Refrigerator Perry in the backfield and let him carry the ball. <laughs> and that was the first time the fridge ever got to run with the rock. Genius move. Now number four, Marcus Allen versus the Raiders. Yeah, Marcus Allen had a feud with Al Davis, or more Al Davis had a feud with Marcus Allen for 11 years. No one knew what the Chiefs were going to get out of him in year 12. And, boy, he went out and scored 12 touchdowns. And then in front of the Raiders' home crowd, a nice day. You see right there, 17 carries, 85 yards, 5 yards per carry, a touchdown, and some sweet revenge. <laughs> Absolutely. Chiefs win 31-20. to 20. Number three, Randy Moss taking on the Cowboys and his team's 7-0 and against Dallas. And Randy Moss thought, Will, that the Cowboys were going to draft him in the 98 draft. Well, they ended up taking Greg Ellis, who ended up being a good player. Yeah, he was, he was a good player. But Randy Moss, uh, slightly better. Yeah. Probably the coolest stat line I've ever seen, although I watched this game in Dallas at my grandmother's. Three catches, 163 yards, <laughs> and three touchdowns. Just I mean, ridiculous. Yeah, that is, uh, like I said, the coolest stat line, other than maybe Jerome Bettis' five carries for one yard and three touchdowns. <laughs> That's a good stat line. Now at number two, Brett Favre versus the Packers. Yeah, a little more Vikings here. I know a lot of you out there watching remember this game. Brett Favre absolutely tore up the Packers at Lambeau Field. It wasn't the yardage, 244 yards, but that's because the Vikings got ahead. They didn't need to throw the ball that much. Four touchdowns. They beat the Packers 38-26, to 128.6 in-game rating. And Brett Favre was never known as a passer rating guy, but, right. boy, he was almost perfect in his return to Lambeau and definitely revenge for him. And at number one, Joe Montana versus the 49ers. This game had a fever pitch to it. It felt like a playoff atmosphere. It was Summerall Madden. The first year Fox yeah. was doing games, it was early in the season. You see week two. The Niners had decided to go with Steve Young a couple seasons earlier. Joe Montana went to Kansas City, and he beat the 49ers at Arrowhead. And this was a great Niners team. That 94 team went on to win the Super Bowl. Absolutely. I will never that forget that. That annihilated the Chargers, by the way. Absolutely. And Joe Montana did get the Chiefs to the playoffs. It was his last season in the league. But, again, the Arrowhead crowd, was it was like a college atmosphere. And I tell you, Derek Thomas screaming off the edge. I think he had two or three sacks in the game. Would not let Steve Young breathe. It was like the Chiefs defense said, don't worry, Joe. We got this for you. As a 49er fan, ooh, that one hurt. Top five revenge games. Elliot Harrison, my friend, thank you very much. You betcha.